What up, what up? We here at the Realist Podcast 7. It's your boy C. Diddy, reporting live from the 2023 Roots Picnic. I got a legend with me. I appreciate your time today, sir. Thank you very much. Good to be here. DJ Clark King, for those who don't know, Reasonable Doubt. Uh, what's some of your other early work that, that you helped lay the foundation for this hip-hop thing with? Uh, uh, Mafia, Biggie, uh, Bad Skill, Ryan County, uh, Rick Ross, Kanye West. Do some songs. Literal legend and one of the best sneaker secret people in the whole entire game. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> what do you think about the current uh, the current state of sneaker culture? Well, I've never ever one time called it sneaker culture. You got it. <laughs> so I think the state of the sneaker game is is what it is because of hype and because of websites and right. because of you know people putting a little more shine on things and then all of a sudden it becoming worth more than just a pair of sneakers. Got it. So, you know. Do you think anybody, there's anybody out there um, from like a style standpoint that's literally truly setting trends and not just kind of like following the fray of what everybody else is doing when it comes to the sneaker game? Um, I think there's probably plenty of people and those people are the ones who really don't care what the next man thinks. Got it. All they care about is wearing what they like. Yeah. And if they have the ability to make it look right when they wear it, and that's a different thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you're big in the sneakers. What do you like and what are you wearing right now? I love Air Force Ones. I love Air Max Ones. I love Jordan Ones. I love a bunch of New Balance. Yeah. Um, I love some Adidas. I love some Reba. I love sneakers. Yeah. So it's not one that I could say this is it. That's all I care about. I'm, I'm heavy on a lot of, a yeah. lot of shoes. I'm <laughs> right, a little right, heavy right. on shoes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're right now in the literally in the middle of Hip Hop 50, 50th anniversary of Hip Hop. Yeah. Is there anything in particular that uh, you have planned or anything that you've been a part of to help with the celebration of Hip Hop 50? I plan to play my part, like play as many events and DJ and, and lend my concert however I can contribute to the thing that saved my life. I started as a DJ, but then Hip Hop started and I became part of the, the culture and, and it's engulfed me in it. I've, this is just a new way of life since I've been like 11. Yeah. It's, it's, it's changed it's, my life. And so it's still because going. of that, yeah. you know, I, I owe to it. So I'm down to do whatever to, to make sure that I pay homage, give back, and um, do my, my best to push it forward. Absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> you recently went viral on the internet. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it with the talking about uh, you was doing an interview. You was talking about uh, the reason why you feel like Doggy Style was better than the Chronic. Right, right. That, that take went went crazy. Do you think that people just didn't didn't take the time to watch the full clip to understand what you were saying? Do you feel like it was taken out of context, or you just said what you said and that just is what it is? I just don't. I just don't think people heard me properly. That's all. Yeah. And, and I'm not really gonna try to justify what happened. I said what I said. And I'm not, I wasn't disrespectful to anyone. It's just, everybody has their own opinion. And I, I respect everyone's opinion. There's people who, when I speak about Jay-Z, think jay Z's not the shit. They yeah. think Biggie wasn't the shit. They, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. Yeah. I don't get mad. And, <laughs> right. and I don't, you know, I accept it. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, to that Jay-Z and Biggie point, and then I'll let you go. You once infamously said in an interview, Biggie is the best rapper, Jay-Z is the best MC. Yeah. How do you differentiate the two for people of like the current generation that kind of almost use the terms interchangeably? Well, I look at the MC part as the bars alone. Like bar for bar for bar, I don't think there's a better MC or rapper than Jay-Z. Got it. But when you talk about everything else, the delivery, the tone, the, the inflection, the, the fact to make you, the, the, abil the ability to make you believe everything with, that they say. Biggie. That's two, a rapper. Tupac. Yeah. Uh, Jeezy. Ross. I mean, there's things that you know about people that aren't right, but when yeah. they say it, they say it so well that they make you with, like, like oh, oh yeah, all right, yeah. I'm, I'm rolling. You know? Yeah. Uh, is there anything... Uh, that's currently going on in and around hip hop that you would change as somebody that's laid so much of a foundation and been like a pillar to the game? Or anything that you want to see come back? I don't think I want to see anything come back. I think with growth, things change. But what I would love is if people within the culture that we're living got to have a better education on everything that we're going through and everything that we've been through. All of that. Right. Hold on a second. Rory. Hi. 
Clark Kent. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm just gonna answer a couple of questions and I'm gonna give you a hug for having a great, great project. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just give you a hug. Great project. Let's chop it up. Can we use the bathroom? Okay. Rory, if we can steal you for two minutes, I'd appreciate it. Sorry about that. No, no doubt. You did us a solid. <laughs> Wrapping up here with the legend DJ Clark Kent. Thank you. Uh, thank you. It's an honor to even be considered in that in those terms. Ain't no doubt about that. Uh, I, 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 I pulled up on Clark. I'm like, yo, you may not remember me. Let me let me ask a question. Yeah. When you say legend, this is something I've never asked. I've, I've never asked. What quantifies that? To me, a legend can, can qualifies with consistent greatness and being associative to greatness and helping to ele not just elevate yourself and your talent, but elevate other people around you and having the ability to, in your case, as a curator and as a DJ and as a producer, recognize greatness in others and use your talent to elevate their greatness. Thank you. And I really appreciate the work. Appreciate Give everybody uh, your socials, anywhere that they can find I'm you at. At DJ Clark Kent, <laughs> Instagram, mainly Instagram. Twitter just follows Instagram, so I'm just here trying to have a good time. TRP, we live in the field, 2023 Roots Picnic. C. Diddy, Clark Kent signing off.